Hi guys, welcome to Amy Great. My name is Damien DeNoble. Today I'm going to show you how to bind your USCIS form before you send it in. So whether you're applying for naturalization, sponsoring a spouse, a relative, or you are simply applying for a U visa, T visa, any of dozens of forms you might be turning into USCIS, I'm going to show you how a law office actually binds them. If that sounds good to you, stick around. <laughs> You're watching Immigrate. This is this channel where I, a lawyer, answer your questions about the immigration process and I try to give you reliable information to help you avoid costly mistakes and make better decisions during your immigration journey. And today we're going to learn how to bind immigration forms, okay? So what I have here is an actual immigration uh, form packet that we are turning, uh, we're going to turn into USCIS. And I have several things on this table, okay? A pen, which you always want to have, okay? Uh, this is a stand-in for a check. This is actually a receipt for a check, but we're going to pretend it's an actual check. Passport photos in their passport slides, okay? Binder clips, which we'll talk about, all right? Prongs. So these are prong fastener bases, which you may or may not be familiar with, and this is what they look like, okay? These are prong fasteners, which we'll talk about, all right? This is a two-hole punch. You're familiar with the three-hole punch, but this is a two-hole punch, okay? Um, the actual form, in this case on top I have a G28 and some exhibits, and we'll talk about what this index is and why you actually might want to use one that starts at the bottom. Our index, an unopened index packet, and some divider sheets, some colored divider sheets. You also might be wondering what this is. This is just a lucky charm that I happen to have in my office, and uh, so we'll see. Uh, it always helps to have something that's it always helps to have something that's lucky. Okay. So, uh, and we also have these tabs, uh, and these tabs can do lots of things. For example, if you need to remind yourself to sign somewhere or you think you made a mistake on a form after you bind it, these are good markers to put in there, okay? All right, so let's talk about kind of the basics, okay? So the basics of this thing are that you are, you can turn it in actually in without punching holes, you can turn it in without index tabs, but I'm trying to show you a professional way to turn it in, okay? So I'm not saying you have to do this, this is just kind of what's recommended by USCIS if you really want to help them along, all right? So the first thing to notice is actually, let's look at this packet here, okay? This packet has several parts. At the top, I have the forms. This is a U visa application, so I have like a G28 form, okay? I have the I918 form, which is what uh, the U visa is applied for on. And then I have some other forms that kind of go behind it, including like a 765 in this case, okay, which is like a work permit form, and some other things, all right? I put all the forms at the front, and we're not going to talk about form order today, but that, I just want you to know that's what's there. And then after that, we have exhibits, right? So these are kind of like, this is the index. So this is where you would put your passport uh, photos if you were, let's say, uh, applying for naturalization or sponsoring a spouse or something. It's where you would put, if you are trying to show evidence of a bona fide marriage, this is where you would put that. And this index is in a cover letter, you're going to specify what's in it. And in this case, I have, you know, at least 24 exhibits or something. This goes through V, all right? So let's put this aside for a minute, okay? Let's put this aside for a minute, and let's, let's, let's get there step by step, all right? So the first thing you want to do is actually kind of line up everything that you're going to put in it. So when I say line up, I mean you're going to want to def divide your forms from your index, okay? And so let's imagine that this index here was kind of, you know, how do you get here? Well, what you do is you're, you kind of like put your tabs out like this, okay? And you say, okay, I got an A tab, I got a B tab, and you just start layering the documents behind each of those tabs. So you see how each of these tabs, this is how it would start out. Okay, so you kind of like layer it out like this, okay? So you might have like, let's say 20 documents and you would put 20 tabs and then you would put the tabs together like this, all right? So you kind of put them together on top of each other, all right? 
And once you've figured out what your index is, then you want to kind of get it together like this. Okay. You want to make sure they're nice and straight. And you want to get your forms together. And what you're going to do now is you're going to, once you have that all together, this is when we would typically start hole punching. Obviously, this has already been hole punched, okay? But all you would really do is kind of like, let's pretend it wasn't hole punched. You would kind of put it under here. You would put this at eight and a half. You would put this at eight and a half, okay? Which is the width of your typical paper. And you would just do a hole punch like this, okay? And you would do that enough times where all of your papers were hole punched. And similar to here, they were all, you would then line them up. Okay, just like this. Okay, so now they're hole punched and they're lined up. Now, what you want to do then is you want to take, you can do one of two things. Okay, you can either take a binder clip, in this case, you would need a pretty thick binder clip, and you would bind them all together. So let's pretend that this was less thick, which is going to be the case for naturalization applications. You could just do it like this, put it you know, in your envelope that you're going to send it and you'd be done. And that's okay. You could even do that without hole punching at the top. No problem. Okay. If you're doing this yourself. So this is all you have, you would have to do. Okay. Um, if you were going with the binder clip, you would then want to take your passport photos, which should be like in some sort of sleeve, like, let's say like this. Okay. You can take your passport photos. And you will take your check and put the check at the very top of everything, okay, like this. And you'd want to take one paper clip or as many as you think are necessary, sort of paper clip it to the top so there's no question that you paid. Now you might also be using a form G1450, which is a credit card authorization form, and I would say put that one on top as well, okay? And so you would just turn this in. So this is like a really easy way to do it, okay? But let's say you wanted to take an extra step, okay? So if you wanted to take an extra step, let's take this back off, then we would want to bind our form, okay? So what you want to do is you want to take this thick packet, okay, and you want to take this uh, prong, okay, put it on a straight surface if you can, like this, okay. What you're going to do is just kind of push through like that, all right. And so now once you have that done, you're going to just keep on layering from the back of your pile. And because you've done the work of actually arranging everything uh, with your tabs, it's going to kind of come together like this, okay? It's going to come together like this. So then you're going to go, you're going to put this here, okay? Put it there. Bam, like that, okay? Put it together, just keep going. And put it like that. Keep going, okay? You're going to put it together. Bent there, just got a little bent there, like that. All right. Now, the final thing we want to do is we want to kind of take this little prong fastener, right? We just want to put it on top. This is kind of like our final piece. We're gonna put it here, okay? We're gonna kind of put it there, and you've bound your application. Now, the only thing, other thing I'll say is that in my applications, I have a cover letter on here again with an index, which we have in another video. Um, showing you how to, which shows the officer who's going to be reading and judging this application, what's in it. And those cover letters are incredibly important. And again, we'll cover it in another uh, video. Uh, finally, just like the last application, you want to take your passport photos, which, you know, if you have to have them for this particular application, and your check. And just like with the previous one, just kind of attach it to here. Um, you'll notice on this one, I have kind of uh, these tabs in just like here and that's where I just needed to remind myself to go in and sign like right here for me the attorney I need to go in and sign right and you just want to give everything one more one through you know one more one through go wherever your tabs are just make sure everything's where it needs to be and then 
uh, go ahead and just send it to whatever address you need to send it on for your particular application. Now, that's going to be different for everything, and you should always check that on USCIS to make sure that you have an up-to-date address. That's it. That's all you have to do. So uh, the total cost of this, by the way, is not very much. You can get one of these hole punchers for like $10, $15. You can get an Office Depot. You can get it online. Uh, these tabs are like 8 bucks. Uh, you can get these prong fasteners, right? These, these whole things are probably going to cost you somewhere around 20 bucks. These are even cheaper. These cost uh, just a couple of dollars. You can get your passport photos at any FedEx. Okay, you can take them yourselves, though I don't recommend that. Go ahead and go to FedEx. Um, and you know where to get your checks, okay? Um, the final thing I do, I almost forgot, is I take this Lucky Charm and I just kind of like rub it over the application for good luck, every little bit of luck, and uh, whatever your Lucky Charm is, you know, you can do your own thing. Do not send it in with the application. Um, if you find this helpful, please subscribe and tell other people about our channel. Uh, we try to be responsive. I was on vacation last week. We had a whole bunch of litigation um, down Stewart Detention Center. We practice here in the southeast um, a lot, so um, we haven't been getting up as many videos as we want, but we will. We will keep doing them. Thank you for sticking with us. Again, you're watching Immigrate. My name is Damien DeNoble. If you need help, you can always call our office. We're happy to answer. All right. Take care.